Oh, hi everyone. Welcome back. This is April with Plan With April. I am switching it up a little bit this week. Go figure. I have got some inspiration from my fingernails that I pulled out some, I don't want to say they're super, like, super bright. I feel like they're still earthy tones, but they've got that kind of summer vibe to them. And then I have these scrapbook pages, scrapbook paper that I pulled out as well that I thought I could play around with too, just to set up, this is going to be the 28th week, so July 10th through the 15th. Um, just kind of playing around with some fun colors and some fun shapes. This week for me is probably going to be empty. It's just going to be like maybe putting a few pictures in, maybe some memory, memory planning, just some fun, fun, fun stuff. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do the black and white over here. I want to leave it like that. Maybe come off just a tiny bit more. Um, and why this is going to be probably mostly memory planning is I am going to be on vacation. So I am not actually going to need this for a whole lot of things other than just, you know, a few little tidbits here and there of things that I want to remember that we did while we were on vacation. I'll pop that down there. Perfect. Cute as a bug. And I think, I think what I want to do, because these are not long enough to really go in columns and cover the entire column, which I'm fine with that. I am just going to, I'm very much into tearing this week. I don't know what that says about me, but I'm just feeling the rough kind of un untextured feel that this is giving me. Like I'm feeling, I almost like it down below too. Yeah, I think I like it down below better. Let's just pop that one there. This is my new second half of the year Hobonichi Cousin the Beck. And if you guys remembered, I did do a blank cover. I haven't done anything with that yet. It is still exactly as it was. Haven't haven't hardly touched it. Normally I don't do a lot of scrap paper in my Hobonichi. Um only because it does make it a little more difficult to like do schedules when you when you add the paper because you don't have the lines uh, per se. But like I said, in this case, I know for sure that I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of planning because it's going to be mostly memory keeping. So I just want to take a couple a couple of strips because I know. There's going to be certain certain times that I'm going to have different things going on that I probably want to like do a header, like have a title over a picture. So I'm going to put those in. Perfect. And I really liked, I liked the look of this paper. I thought it matched the washi tape really well. And you're like, well, we haven't even used washi tape yet. Never fear, my friends, we shall, I promise. It's going to be a very, very decorative spread. Perfect. And I am just using my Elmer's Tape Runner. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to cover up that orange. There we go. All right, so I'm going to set these aside because I'm done with the paper. Kind of clear off a spot on my desk. I'm going to grab this orange. I really, really like this color, and I'm just going to put it down right above there. 
grab my handy dandy palette knife that makes beautiful beautiful cuts tears whatever you want to call it and to kind of piece this all together piece piece it together put it together make it all cohesive maybe I definitely don't like that hanging over Perfect. That looks good. Let's go in with a little green. I definitely want to add this green because I think I am just feeling, I'm feeling the bright colors right now. I'm feeling summer. I still need to get a good tan. I haven't really got a very good base. <laughs> I'll get out there, I promise. When? Not sure. Not sure at all. Definitely want to go in with this yellow. Yes, and in fact, I think, I think I'm just going to put a little pop of that yellow right here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go in right here. And lay that down. Do I want to do this orange? Hmm. I don't think I do. I like the idea of just having this very, very simple. And I like these, these three colors on there. I think I'll just stick with those three colors. I do feel like I need a strong black and white down here though. I feel like I kind of left that spot to its own. So I'm just gonna grab this little guy. Maybe pop it. Yeah, it just needed a little bit to kind of to average that out so that is my setup that is gonna be my my spread for the 28th week I promise to come back and show you what it looks like when it's all filled in with some pictures and things that we did it should be a lot of fun you'll definitely you know probably have a good time when we flip through that anyway have a marvelous marvelous day I will talk to you soon I love you bye